Hey, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to work with Access a little bit as it relates to a mail merge that you might do in a Word document. I had a question from someone on my YouTube channel that uh, they didn't really want to put the dollar sign in the Word document, for instance. Um, they I mean, before on the mail merges I would just say hey in the word document you can put the dollar sign in and then have insert the merge field for um, outstanding balance for instance and that way the 2000 would come up and you would just put the dollar sign have it in front that you just actually did in word of course this didn't have proper formatting really with the common all so I thought I would show you today is how to fix this in access before it ever comes over into a mail merge with a word document so follow me on this trip let me go to access Access. And this is just a made up access uh, file, like a animal hospital kind of thing. We have a customer's table, um, we have a pet's table, and you know, various queries we've already created. So I wanted to show you what you can do to make it happen to put the currency symbol and the currency format in the access file that you needed, in, and actually into the access column that you really need it to show up in. So if I look at the um, customer table here. Um, that's what's showing. Let me just scroll over and you can see it's customer name, customer account number, different columns for different items actually. And if I scroll over just a little bit further, you'll see a column for outstanding balance. Now here in Access, you see that it does have the currency symbol on it and it looks like the correct format. However, when it goes over to Word, if you don't make this additional change in your query in Access, uh, the the currency symbol will not arrive in Word during the mail merge. Okay, so let's talk about how to fix that. So I'm going to go to create, and I'm just going to create a very simple query, and I'm just going to um, go into query design, and I'm going to pick customer, add that query, go to pets, or add that table, I should say, for the query, and then let me just expand it a little bit here. And it's, uh, we'll just pick some fields. Uh, customer number, we'll pick uh, customer name, street, city, state, zip, uh, and outstanding balance. And over in the pets table, I'm going to pick just the pet name, type of animal, breed, gender. That's enough for what I need to show you on this. Probably more than I need to for this example. But, and then while we're still in the query, I'm going to um, zip over to the outstanding balance column that we've created here and I'm going to first of all I need more room so I'm going to expand that out a ways okay and I think the person who needed me to show them how to do this just had a lot of currency symbols they didn't want to have to put in a word document they wanted it to automatically come over so I'm gonna get my cursor in front of outstanding balance and I'm going to to rearrange it a little bit I'm going to type in I'm gonna give it a new name I'm gonna call it balance colon that kinda of renames the uh, column and then I'm gonna say format dollar sign and then I'm going to uh, have open parenthesis that and leave the outstanding balance part in here and then I'm going to have a comma after it says outstanding balance and then I'm going to start with how I want it to format into the proper currency amount so I'm going to have um, um, double quote and then I'm going to put another dollar sign in and then I'm going to use the pound symbol which is otherwise known as a hashtag these days but comma and then basically I'm just putting in the format now at this point I'm gonna break away and just put so I'm gonna have it in thousands basically and down to the pennies and uh, finish that out with uh, double quotes and then also the closed parenthesis okay so that should take care of this problem now let me build the simple query so I'll just go over here and let's just sort it down just a little bit so we can um, just say type of animal just say um, we want just the dogs from the um, database and we want the breed uh, let's do German Shepherd and I won't worry about gender or anything like that just sort on those two items now I'll hit run so we'll run so we can get our query and only come up with three that fit the uh, criteria for our query now um, let me save it and I'll just hit the save button there and we'll just call it uh, German Shepherd 
And I've actually got several leads, so I'll just call it number five. So I'll say OK. And I just want to show you how this kind of works. So if we build our Word document, um, here's one I had. And um, this one has the currency. Like I said before, this is the one I just manually put the currency symbol in the Word document. So let me just do a brand new one to show you how this works better now. So let me just uh, pop a new Word document up here. And let me tie it in with that particular query. So I'll go to Mailings, Start Mail Merge, Step-by-Step -step Mail Merge Wizard. And yes, I'm doing letters, so I'll say start the document, use the current document, sure. Select recipients is the next step. I'm going to browse back to my little sample mountain animal hospital um, database. And let's see, I've got it tucked away in this folder, Mountain Animal Hospital, the access version of it. So let me bring it up. Now I called it German Shepherd 5, so there it is. And I'll tie it in with this Word document for the mail merge. And you'll see... Uh, as you go through here, it actually has dollar signs here. And normally, I don't think it would at this point. So you say OK. Now, um, write my letters, the next step. So I've got my Insert Merge field here. So I just want to show you how if I go down now to Balance, which you know was called Outstanding Balance, but I renamed it to Balance. When I click on Balance, um, that field shows up. So if you want to preview and see what that looks like, to see if it has the currency symbol on it, I'll just go over to preview your letters and you'll see that it automatically pops up with the currency symbol in the correct format as we put it in in Access before it ever came over to Word. So um, let me pull up the uh, more of a document that's got all that in there. So I did this same thing on this document. So I had all the merge fields in here to make a proper merge uh, letter out of it. So, and when we got to, it's come to our attention that you have an outstanding balance due of two thousand dollars. Then you know we've got the proper amount in there. So I hope that helps you with uh, formatting your access for currency symbols as before as you prepare it for a mail merge with Word. Thank you for your time.